Welcome. In this video, I will demonstrate how to do a cascading uh, combo box. To begin, I will create an ASP.NET MVC4 web application. of type uh, internet. Okay, so uh, let's clean up a bit here. Uh, under uh, uh, views. Okay, so we don't want any of these uh, featured content. Not needed for what we want. And I'm going to wipe out the rest of the home page as well. So this is all I need. Okay, so uh, we need uh, one form for the uh, different uh, controls. And I <clears throat> have those here, uh, a country uh, select list combo box which doesn't have any items in it right now. And we have a states combo box. So if we run this, it should give us just two blank dropdowns. And that's what we want. Next, uh, we need to add some models. So normally this would be where you uh, connect to the database, but um, for this example, I'm just going to emulate the data. So I will create two classes, one called um, state and another one called country or yeah, country is fine. So in here, I will have the following fields. I will have a public string country code and a public string country name. And in order to emulate the data, I will have another static field, uh, I queryable of type country called get countries. And here I'm just initiating a list of country uh, countries with um, country code and uh, country name. So. This shouldn't surprise anyone. This is just uh, me creating some fake data. And in the uh, state class, we will have a public string country code. And a public integer state ID and a public string state name. So this defines our state class. And again, I'm going to copy in some uh, fake data, same way as before. rather than me typing all the fake data, but just it's exactly the same thing as the other one. Um, just initiating some uh, country codes and state IDs and state names. 
Canada and US. So, and that really takes care of our uh, classes. It looks like we've got some um, build issues that should go away when we compile. So, uh, that takes care of that. Next thing I want to do is in my home controller, I'm going to collapse these real quick. And um, don't really need this. Okay, so I'm going to create two new um, action results. Um, one of them we'll call public action result country list. And another one called state list. So here um, I will have an I queryable called countries country dot get well, add a reference country dot get countries. So if HTTP context dot request that is Ajax request we will return a JSON of new select list countries country code and country name and we will add the JSON request behavior dot allow get to allow it to uh, fetch the information and here we will return the view So real quick, created an object of the type I query rule called countries and uh, fetch the country list from our uh, fictitious database. And here is a check to see if we want to use JSON or if we want to return regular results. And I'm just returning, if it's a JSON, I'm returning a JSON select list of type countries and passing back the information. So shouldn't be shocking to anyone. The same exact way I'm going to do the same for our states. So I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to um, Well, first of all, I got a passive parameter here. So, I'm going to uh, look for the states where the country code is what um, we've passed in. And if it's an AJAX result, they will return the uh, result in JSON. If it's a regular query, we'll return it in a regular fashion. So, that really takes care of our uh, controller. So the next thing we want to take a look at is our routes. So in the route config uh, file, I'm going to add two routes, one for country code and one for state code, which I will just paste in. So here, I've added a route called state list, which has a path home, states, list, and then the country code. And another route called countries list, which has home, countries, list, um, 
as the path. So, and they both hit the home controller, the uh, state list and the action list. So these are just some custom routes um, so that it makes it a little easier for us to um, understand what we're querying. So that takes care of that. So the last part of it that's left is the actual uh, jQuery uh, code section. And unfortunately, there's no way around not having a jQuery in this uh, application. There's really no other way for you to create a cascading dropdown without using some sort of a JavaScript or jQuery. So um, that comes next. So here uh, we have a section here called scripts. And... Here, I'm going to paste in some uh, jQuery rather than typing it all while everyone is watching. So what this does is it first it gets um, from home countries list, it gets a list of countries. And then it adds another option, a blank option to that. And then for each of the items that it gets in JSON, it loops through and it sets the value to the value of the uh, country and the uh, text to the uh, text, uh, the name of it essentially. And then it appends those items to the country's uh, combo box, which is right here. And all this happens um, when the application loads essentially. Also, there's another uh, combo box called countries, which is down here. Uh, I'm sorry, when the countries dropdown list changes, uh, this function gets called, which hits the states list and passes in the, the country that was selected from the countries dropdown. And does the same thing, essentially, it uh, appends the. Uh, blank uh, line to it and then it loops through and it populates all the states that go with that country and then it, it puts them in the combo box so that's really all we, there's to it really we don't have a featured code so I'm just going to take that off so uh, that's all there's to it really we're done um, I realized that I did it a bit too fast this time around. I got a lot of feedback from different users saying uh, I was going through different uh, things uh, too slow. So I tried to copy and paste in as much as I could to uh, cut down on the, the amount of time that the video takes um, to go through. But um, I will make the source code available uh, in the description of the video uh, so that you can download and look through it. And you can also always just slow down and uh, pause and uh, take your time viewing the uh, uh, different parts. So let's run this. If everything goes well, we should have a cascading dropdown. So this is promising. It looks like uh, the blank element has been added and the uh, two elements have been populated. So if I click on the states, now I've got the, um, on the country, and select like United States, I get the state right here. So I can pick a state. And if I pick Canada, I can do the same with Canada. So that's it. Um, that's all I had to cover in this video. I hope um, that you uh, will find it useful. Please subscribe. And um, I'm always happy to hear uh, comments, concerns, suggestions, and feedbacks um, that you may have. Thank you for watching.